Sounds like someone's done with studying. Come here, hang out with me for a little while, and relax. <laughs> wow, all that studying really wore you out, huh? Well, if it helps, it's going to pay off in the long run. It may be exhausting and frustrating and a pain in the ass for now, but it will be all worth it. <laughs> yes, I promise. I mean, I promise, but only as long as spoken contracts aren't legally blinding in the court of law. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I'm just joking. You are working really hard, and it's all going to pay off someday. And then you'll be able to get a good job and buy me a nice big old mansion for being such a cool roommate. <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, someday you are going to be happy you worked as hard as you are now. Even if it is frustrating, but for tonight, you are all done dealing with all of that. You don't have to look at it again. Just put it all out of your head and watch this movie with me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I just kind of turned it on and then started playing games on my phone. Because I have no attention span whatsoever. Hey, don't blame me. You know how I get after studying. My brain just doesn't want to work anymore. So I reward it with entertainment from the silly little glowing screens. You do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Just watch this movie with me, or just sit with me and pretend to watch it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> sure, do whatever you gotta do. But you better come back here to hang out with me. Don't need you trying to do any more studying tonight. <laughs> you work <hard> look. <laughs> hey, while you're up there, would you mind grabbing me some ice cream from out of the freezer? I grabbed you some too, if you want it. Yeah, no problem. I thought you might want something sweet to reward yourself with. Toss it over here, would you? Is that a blanket? Are you cold? Oh yeah, your desk is in that absolutely freezing corner of the room, isn't it? No wonder you are always so so miserable after finishing your homework. You know, if you'd have just told me that you were cold, I'd have given you my hoodie. You didn't have to go back and grab your blanket. Planning on fall asleep out here then? I'm not judging, I promise. I was actually going to do the same thing, if you don't mind the company. Oh, true. The couch is pretty small. Mm, we can always cuddle, if you want. that probably help you warm up too. No, 
I'd be fine with it. I mean, you've cuddled me a few times, so I don't think it's too weird. <laughs> yeah, sure. Move a bit closer. You can lay your head on my shoulder. Oh my god. Even your face feels cold. You are just a little icicle. At this point... <laughs> at this point, you're gonna freeze if you try to eat any of the ice cream. Then, put that blanket up here and wrap it around us. Let's get you all warmed up. There we go. Isn't that better? Now, let's eat some ice cream and watch this movie. Hey, you are shaking. Are you sure you're not still cold? You know, if you want to borrow my hoodie, that offer is still on the table. Oh, come on. You know I wouldn't mind. I think we are both actually switch hoodies more times than we can count. And it's never bothered me. If you want to borrow my hoodie, I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> yes, I promise. It's all good. Yeah, here. Let me just take this off real quick. You mind sitting up for just a sec? Perfect, thank you. Alright, how's that? Feeling any warmer? Good, I'm glad. I'd hate for you to miss out on your ice cream just because you were too cold to handle it. That would have left me to finish it all. Though, that would be a perilous task. I would have gladly endured it for you, my chilly little icicle friend. Me? Selfish? <laughs> Nonsense. I would be doing you a favour by getting rid of some of that coldness from you. If anything, it would be a burden to eat that much ice cream. Well, yeah, you look like you are going to fall asleep, <laughs> face first in your ice cream anyway. Why don't you just give it to me so you don't have to worry about that? Come on, just give me your ice cream, you know you want to. Uh, fine. Keep your ice cream. I guess I'll just have to settle for eating my own and watching this movie. Oh, and it's already over. I guess we missed the entire thing. Toss me the remote. I'll turn on something else that we can actually watch together. It's up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Alright. Sounds good. Just let me just turn it on. There we go. Now, why don't we just... Oh... <laughs> My god, are you actually asleep? You still have your spoon in your mouth. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. Hey. Sleepyhead. Wake up for me. Hey there. You awake now? Yeah. You really did fall asleep. I told you that you look tired. I'm not making fun of you. Not right now, anyway. I'm just saying that if you are tired, you should go to bed. No point in forcing yourself to stay awake just for my sake. Well, we can spend more time together tomorrow, okay? Just get some sleep, alright? <laughs> no, it's fine. You can still sleep out here. <laughs> Let's just move around a bit so it'll be more comfortable. First though, let me go put this ice cream back. We don't need that melting all over the place while we sleep. <laughs> no need to complain. I'll be right back, I promise. Then you can go back to using me as a big snuggly pillow. <laughs> Just be patient. I'll be back in less than a minute, all right? Are you already drifting off again? God, you really wore yourself out with all that studying. Okay, so, how do you want to do this? What's going to be the most comfortable for you? <laughs> Too tired to think, huh? Well, let's try this. I'm gonna put a pillow over on this side of the couch and sit over here. Why don't you sit between my legs and lean back against my chest? That way, you can use me as a pillow and we'll both be comfortable. I think it'll be comfortable and honestly, it might be the only way us both will be able to sit on the couch. Yeah, I won't really be lying down exactly, but I don't mind. I don't plan on sleeping too much anyway. I'm not tired yet. So I'll just gonna watch TV for a bit. Then come here and bring the blanket too. It's getting kinda cold. See? Comfortable, right? Yeah, I've been told I'm very comfy. So many even say that I'm the comfiest pillow they've ever had. Oh, is someone jealous? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm your pillow first and foremost. <laughs> Come on, you know you love my jokes. That's why you've lived with me for this long. Well, that and my incredible cuddling abilities. And the fact I buy food for you. And my amazing puns. And my insanely good looks. And my smoking hot body. <laughs> God, I just really am the full package, aren't I? Absolutely hobby material. Hey, you know I'm like 10 out of 10 marriage material for sure. <laughs> You're so mean to me. 
and here I am, being so incredibly nice and cute, and letting you sleep on me. So, so rude. <laughs> well, at least admit that I'm a good cuddler. You gotta give me that. <laughs> I'll count that as a win. Now, hurry up and go to bed, because apparently you get super snarky when you're tired. Alright, how could I forget? You are always snarky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just shut up and go to bed. <laughs> hey, rude. Go to bed before I decide that I don't want to cuddle you with you anymore. <laughs> Look at that yawn. All that sass must be making you even more tired. <laughs> you are just lucky that you are cute when you yawn. Huh? I didn't say anything. Besides, that you need to go to sleep, that is. Shh, just go to bed, your grumpy little icicle, you need to rest up. No, come on, just lay your head on my shoulder, so you can drift off into dreamland. See, that's better, isn't it? So comfy. Hmm, you are right if I wrap my arms around you, that way you don't fall off the couch while you sleep. Sweet, now just lift your arms a bit. There, now this is perfect, are you comfortable? You're kind of muttering. Was that a yes? Hmm. I guess I'll take that as a yes. Since you are just snuggling into my neck at this point. <laughs> what? Too tired to respond. I guess being sassy really did wear you out. <laughs> Damn, you really were tired. I'm kind of sad, you know. I really wanted to hang out with you tonight. Then again, this is pretty nice too. Cuddling with you is something I will never get tired of. Especially when you are all relaxed like this. Just leaning into me and letting me hold you close, feeling how warm and relaxed you are against me, feeling your chest rise and fall as your breathing evens out. I can't tell you how happy it makes me. You know, I thought that you would have figured out that I have a huge crush on you by now. I'm not exactly the best at hiding my feelings, and I know I have a tendency to kind of flirt with you. I thought it was inevitable that you put two and two together, and that you'd realize that I'm a bit head over heels for you. Kinda happened since we first started rooming together. Really, just hanging out with you always makes my day. I love talking to you, and I love being your friend. I really do, but I still want to be more with you, you know? Do all that romantic stuff and make you feel loved and happy and, I don't know, I just want you to feel everything good 
especially when you think about me. That might be kind of selfish, but I mean, that's kind of part of having a crush, right? That jealousy when you call someone else cute. Always trying to get your attention, trying everything I can to get you to like me more. All that kind of stuff, like there's, there's selfless parts of it too, but I guess I just feel like it's selfish. I guess because I don't want to distract you from your work or your school stuff and even if you do want to date someone, I don't want to make you feel awkward that I, your roommate, want to date you. I don't want to make you feel guilty or anything. And I feel like, well, you are so sweet and such a good friend that if I did tell you that I had a crush on you, you'd feel weird about it because you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings because that would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? Make a new deal with my feelings. <laughs> but on the other hand, there are times when I feel like you might have feelings for me too. I don't know, it just seems like you look at me a lot sometimes and you do a ton of the same stuff that I do for you. Getting me snacks, lending me your jacket, watching my favourite show when you hate them. Sometimes you even kind of flirt with me too. If all just feels like stuff that you wouldn't really do for just a normal friend. I mean, I think I'm right, right? I don't even know anymore. Why is this, all of this, so hard? One second. I think I know what we are and what our relationship is. The next, I have no idea. I just wish I knew how to ask you about it without making it weird between us. I'm just scared of losing you. Maybe someday I'll finally find the nerve to tell you. Or, if I'm lucky, you might tell me. <laughs> I can dream, right? <laughs> I guess, for now, I'll just enjoy this, whatever we have, because honestly, I could spend the rest of my life like this, and still be happy, so as long as I have you, it'd just be nice to be able to kiss you, <sighs> it'd be really nice, but at least for now, I get to hold you like this, I get to have you this close to me, sleeping against me. I can feel your heartbeat against my chest and that alone is one of the greatest gifts I could ask for. For right now, it's perfect. Whatever we have, is perfect.